What's going on everyone? It's your rifle here and in today's video I'm going to be breaking down a gun that you get from an exotic bounty. Because I know some of you understand how much effort it takes to get these exotic bounties done. So you want to make sure you're getting the type of weapon that you're wanting. And for all you fusion rifle lovers out there, well, I have you this incredible fusion rifle which actually made me a fusion rifle lover now. So heck yeah, fusion rifle for life. That was weird. Anyways, what the fusion rifle was called, it's called the Pocket Infinity. And let's just say this Pocket Infinity shouldn't be so pockety. Because this thing actually has an incredible, incredible perk on it, which I'll get around to that. Might as well just start the perks off first things first. This is a solar damaged weapon. So this weapon is going to be very useful for the DLC if you guys are getting the Dark Below DLC. Alrighty, anyways, first perk is Smooth Ballistics, which, as you guys can read it, it says less recoil and penalty to range. And not to mention, once you get this weapon upgraded more, this perk is useful with the hand-loaded perk. If you have them, it's a nice combination. It helps balance out this weapon to have a nice extended range. By nice, I mean accurate. And that can be one deadly combination with a fusion rifle, especially one that fires in full auto. Up next is one I don't really use much, soft ballistics, less recoil, and it has a penalty to impact, but let's just say I just tend to stay away from it. That's just my opinion though. Don't be all like, what the hell? I use that all the time, you ignorant fool. He goes, all right, as you can see, I'm trying to make an example that we all have different opinions on what we use, and I'm just sharing with you guys what has worked best with me. But anyways, the next perk is actually a nice perk. I use this one as well. I kind of swap between them. And I'll explain why here in a bit. But this one's called Linear Compensator. It has more predictable recoil, slight boosts to range and impact, and also has more recoil. Well, more recoil, I don't know if you guys like recoil, but I don't really like recoil. I like to have less recoil. So to help balance that, I use the perk Perfect Balance. And this helps balance out the recoil. So... Using this perk with perfect balance, it's a nice combination. It's the combination I use the most, but like I said before, I do switch between combinations. But anyways, the next perk is a perk that you will have to unlock. There's no choice between it. It's called Surplus, and actually, this perk is freaking awesome. It helps a lot with finding ammo. And let's just say the Pocket Infinity drains through ammo. It shoots so much, but as you can see... The magazine size on it is 3. But that magazine size isn't always true with this weapon. That's the most awesome part about this weapon. It has a perk called the Pocket Infinity. But I haven't got to that yet. After Surplus, you unlock Upgrade Damage. And from Upgrade Damage, you have the Hand Loaded perk. Which, like I said before, works well with the first perk I went over. The next perk is called Speed Reload. And in my opinion, this perk isn't really used that much. I mean, I had a little bit of fun actually because I, I tested out something. I just had this little theory. I wanted to see how fast this weapon could reload if I put on speed reload and if I also wore my exotic gauntlets because they have a perk which increases the special weapon reload. So here's a little bit of footage of me using that combination and look how fast I'm freaking reloading. But all in all, I don't really believe speed reload is a perk that you should use. Because in my opinion, the other perks work well with the other perks. You want to find perks that work well with each other when going through the tree. That's just my opinion. But hey, once again, if speed reload is your thing, well then keep doing your thing. I'm not trying to change your opinion. I'm just giving you my setup. You guys can choose to use this setup or you guys can just, you know, don't take the setup. Or you guys possibly just could take some information in that I'm saying, you know, switch it up and use your own ideas. I don't know. But anyways, the next perk is perfect balance. And like I said before, this is a combination with the bottom perk of the first tree. So yeah, that's just my opinion. And then after Perfect Balance is the reason why I am a fusion rifle lover now. This perk, Pocket Infinity, is absolutely amazing. It says, fires in full auto mode and has a chance to return rounds that miss to the magazine. So this fusion rifle, first off, fires in full auto. Let's just reel that in for a minute. Full freaking auto. That's... that. that, that. Now that, that's awesome. It's a freaking fusion machine rifle. But that isn't the only awesome part. When firing with the weapon, I have chance to pick up more rounds to my magazine. 
So I can sit here and fire maybe six, five shots, seven. I don't know. I can fire a bunch of shots out of three bullets because if I miss something, which fusion rifles aren't always exactly pinpoint, I have a chance to get another shot. This perk is freaking awesome. Just wait when you see this perk used in the PvP. I got you guys some PvP gameplay as well, in case you guys are wondering, well, how does the Pock Infinity play on the PvP? Everyone's been saying this gun sucks after the nerf. Well, in my opinion, that's a rumor. I mean, I'm sitting here using the Pock Infinity, and I am enjoying it. I enjoy this fusion rifle. I don't get why so many people are like, yeah, ever since the nerf, the Pock Infinity just blows. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't. Like, this is actually an incredible fusion rifle. I don't see what the problem is with it. As you can see right here, look. Look how it is in PvP. And I don't know, a guy actually recognized me, I guess, on the other team and just started dancing when he saw me. It was freaking awesome. It was pretty cool and all, but nonetheless, I still would have got him. This fusion rifle just demolished us. All round is a good fusion rifle. And the other perks are just upgrade damage, but they are still important. But that's about wrapping up this Pocket Infinity review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please remember to rate the video. It's much appreciated and helps motivate my mind as well. But I'm out of here though. Thanks everyone for watching. And most importantly, thank you all for your time. Peace. Enemy captured Zone C. They've got them all, Guardians. Heavy ammo inbound. And in today's video, I have for you, as you can see, a vlog. I don't do vlogs much. Actually, I hardly ever do vlogs. I used to. I want to show you who I am. This is me.